There, standing tall and wearing a white t-shirt and jeans, was Ariane LeBoy, one of two teens stabbed in a high school classroom two years ago. Right behind him at court, the family of Matthew McCree, the other teen who was stabbed, he died in the attack carried out by their classmate, Abel Cedeno. Cedeno was in court to be sentenced for the crimes. His victim's families testified in the hour-long hearing. To see his lifeless body on the stretcher, bleeding, drenched in blood. McCree's aunt repeats some of her testimony, and the mother of the other victim, Ariane LeBoy, said in court that her son is forever scarred. <laughs> It caused the mother of the other victim, Matthew McCree, to storm out of the courtroom wailing. It's like I was placed back there in the emergency room, detectives walking in and telling me my son passed away. Just everything just started to rush back in. Minutes later, Cedeno spoke. He'd claimed at trial that his two victims had bullied him for being bisexual. No evidence supported that. And today, Cedeno said, I know that no matter what I say or do, it will not change what I have done to the families. The judge sentenced him to 14 years for manslaughter, eight for assault, and 90 days for weapons possession, serving concurrently. The longest Cedeno could serve is 14 years. It should have been 50, but I'll take the 14. And outside of the courtroom after sentencing, officers had to subdue surviving stabbing victim Ariane LeBoy. Somebody had said he should have been killed, according to witnesses. He was eventually released. And Cedeno's attorneys say they intend to appeal this sentence.